we're in a good um, to say Matthew doesn't really need all that much help and I just want to say we have the best of going on with the other things that symposia. And I suppose what we're talking about is the thinking, I suppose, that has underpinned how we've come up with today. And as I said, we have great fun and we hope that you have some of the fun that we have. Um, and it's a little bit we hope today will be what we are as a microcosm of what we hope today will be. And what I want to say is some of the thinking and what that has underpinned today for us. So I suppose outcomes, outcomes, outcomes. It's the buzzword of the day, I suppose, in, in youth work. Everywhere we turn around, it's waiting for us. It's lying in wait for us. If you look at the NQSF, the five core principles, one of the first things you're asked for in your self-assessment is, can you name an outcome for um, the, the, each of the five core principles? You get into the standards you're looked for in your practice, in your planning, monitoring and assessment. There, you're immediately referred to outcomes. Your department application forms, you're asked, what are your outcomes, what are your expected outcomes? When you get to the end of the year, can you please tell us what outcomes you've achieved? In your CDYSB recording and planning, you're asked to name your outcomes, how do you achieve them? If you use logic modeling, you're asked about outcomes. Basically, anywhere that you're looking for access to funding, you're looked for outcomes. Um, okay, so who's asking for the outcomes? <coughs> Is it the young person looking for outcomes? Is it your employer? looking for outcomes? Is it the funder? Is it you looking for the outcomes? Are there tensions between those stakeholders? Do they hold the same values? Do they have the same beliefs? Do they actually all want the same outcomes? Or do they want different outcomes? Is there a resistance to naming outcomes? Is there a perception that certain outcomes are required? or that certain outcomes are preferable. Our practi as practitioners, are we really clear about what it is that outcomes can consist of? How can they be constructed? How they can be constructed? How can they be time-framed? How they can be time-framed? Do we need to revisit our values? Do we need to reiterate them? How strong is it? Our beliefs, how strong uh, what we believe in, how strong are we in those beliefs? Will we access funding to work with young people when we actually know that the outcomes expected are different than our beliefs? Can we negotiate outcomes? Can we manage the tensions that exist between the different stakeholders in relation to outcomes? So there's some of the questions that have come up for us when we're trying to um, tweak this uh, symposium. And we hope that by kind of putting them out there at this stage of the day, that it will get you to start thinking in terms of what our four speakers are going to talk to you about today. And it will get you working, it will influence your learning for the day, and that will contribute to some of the questions that may arise from, from all of you today and contribute back to the whole sector. So thanks a million and enjoy the day.